do have a gadget play where we intentionally drop a pop-up, but that wasn't wasn't it. Uh, you know, we when it's twilight like that, we we immediately just hit pop-ups and do pop-fly communication, and we can't catch them in practice either because nobody can see it. So, um, you know, credit to our guys for not panicking. I mean, Riley Bertram making that play on the first one that dropped to throw that guy out at second was huge. His play back in the beginning of the game to, to throw behind the runner as well. I mean, those are just, you know, those are two huge plays. Um, you know, Ryan Ammons being a senior, being a captain, keeping his composure, even though he's getting doing his job and getting pop-ups, uh, but to still just induce the, that type of contact and, and not let that inning spiral out of control that was a big deal and then of course you know Blake coming up in the clutch another two out RBI um, so the, you know those three guys are captains and you saw their leadership on the field tonight uh, but it's a very well played game that's a very good team you can see why they're a, a regional team and have a chance to make a deep run uh, with their relief pitching I thought was excellent and um, they obviously have a very dangerous lineup, so just a really good college baseball game all the way around. Uh, we got good pitching as well and got great performances today from all of our relievers that Gordo battled. Um, and, you know, the two out RBIs, you know, scoring all three of those runs with two outs, that was a huge deal. Billy Amick coming up clutch again, but, you know, just contributions up and down the lineup. Ben Blackwell had three hits. You know, Cam with the sack fly, and just just a lot of good things are taking place uh, up and down this lineup, defensively, uh, on the mound. So it just uh, just feels like these guys have a high level of belief and uh, playing well in all phases. Questions for players, uh, Blake? What were you guys thinking going into the bottom of the ninth after that crazy uh, top of the in inning there? Right. I mean, uh, Coach B said it. Uh, we didn't panic at all. We trust our training. Uh, we do those situations all the time in our training, um, every day, every every day of the week, and and uh, so we felt prepared. We had no panic at all. We knew we were going to get the job done. Cam, what, what was what were you guys seeing out in that that tough sky out there? What was causing the it, it to, to be so tough for you guys? You know, it was blue out there, and everybody out there was not seeing the ball. You saw that, and we, everybody was just saying, "Back it up." Make sure everybody sees the ball and catches the ball. <clears throat> and Raleigh made a good play on in the infield when he threw it to second, and that really helped us out. That last one that Will caught, did you think he saw it at first? I mean, did it look like maybe he was struggling and looked yeah. like you were trying to get there as quick as you could? Yeah, I didn't know if he saw it or not, so I was just hustling over there just in case he didn't see it so I could catch the ball. Blake, your, your grandmother, Miss Evie, is becoming yeah. famous around here. Oh, yeah. She was clutching her all-in chip. <laughs> What's it like to have her down here? You know, being able to finally watch you come down from from Williamsport, I, I guess. And, right. And she's obviously just taking this all in. Are you going to keep her around? Because she's obviously a good oh, luck charm. Heck yeah, of course. <laughs> whole actually, the whole fam's here. Two grandmas, grandpa came in town, uh, mom and dad. So it's been incredible. They're so supportive. So no, it's a uh, it's awesome to see him. And, I can hear, I mean, anything, I, anytime I do something, I hear, woo, you know what I mean? And I hear my dad screaming all game, but no, it's, it's awesome. We it's can cool. try and figure out a way to send him to Durham next week. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> we'll find a way. It'll happen. <laughs> so, Blake, y'all started out 0 3 in ACC play, and you just won seven straight, finished out of your 7 3 in ACC play. So, how does it feel as a whole, and how do you expect to carry the momentum into tomorrow and that ACC tournament? Yeah, it feels incredible. Um, but, we knew this was going to happen. Uh, we know the type of team we have. Uh, I thought it was kind of uncharacteristic of, of us at first, but it made it stronger for sure. And uh, no, we're going to keep the momentum going. We're getting better each and every day. So looking to keep it keep it going into the ACC tournament and uh, into whatever comes next. Any other questions for players? All right, thank you, players. So you holding your breath. I mean, so you, when you saw that dust sky up there, were you kind of like, oh man, this don't get any pop-ups? Yeah, was, <laughs> yeah, we're talking about it because Ammons is, you know, got such good induced vertical break. A lot of 
guys hit underneath the ball, and it was just there's a there's about a 15 to 20 minute window every day when the sun's out that it's brutal, and it's we noticed it in the fall, and Coach Leggett talked about times you know in the last 20. 25 years, same thing. It's just, it's just tough, and you just got to point and talk, and everybody's got to point and talk. The problem is, everyone, nobody saw it, you know. So, <laughs> it, it's one thing when you got to someone on the adjacent side of the field can can direct traffic a little bit, but it was just, I don't know, just a unique cloud cover to where it was like a, you know, just camouflaging the ball and felt bad because Ryan Emmons is doing exactly what he needed to do. He's using weak contact and, you know, no, nobody could see what was going on. But uh, thankfully, you know, Riley made that play and we only we only gave up one run. And, um, but it just, you know, set the stage to, you know, to, uh, to have even more theatrics. But, um, yeah, proud of our guys for not panicking. And, you know, they came in the dugout and they, all the talk was positive of, you know, all right, let's do this. Every day it does for just a certain type of cloud cover. Seems like every every time the sun's out and it's a blue sky and then just you know it's just I don't know I don't all I know is you can't see it. I mean I heard some fans saying that the foul balls went up and they couldn't see it either. So you know and I heard some other fans telling us to get our head in the game. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, it was uh, believe me we were trying. Uh, it was not that was not a lack of effort, uh, more of a lack of vision. But um, yeah, I mean it. You know, fluke plays, but we'll 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 have to be ready for that. Um, you know, so um, we'll have more, some more home games. Austin settled in after giving up the three-run homer. How proud are you of him of being able to finish five? And then how about the bullpen? Reed Garris coming in, getting Matt Corvath on a deep fly ball there, but. Shut down innings from those guys. Oh yeah, we pitched out of out of multiple jams, and yeah, Gordo battled, and yeah, gave up the three-run homer, and uh, that inning that would have been huge if, if Riley makes that that throw behind play, and Caden is a perfect deke, and Riley's been doing that all year, and you know, it just you do that 30 times in a season to hope it works once, and the time it worked ended up being a a huge turns out was a huge run because uh, that three-run Homer at the time could have been a grand slam, um, but yeah, Gordo Gordo did a good job of just battling, you know, just just finding a way to uh, just just pitch out of some jams and then you know we well, let's see who came in, uh, um, yeah, all the guys that came in really, Reed and uh, and Tristan, um, Ammo. I mean, gosh, they were all they were all awesome. They just did a fantastic job. Someone was before Reed. Who was after? Tristan. It's Tristan. Tristan was after Gordo and then Reed. Okay. Yeah. They they all to get those outs in the in the later innings was a big deal. Especially you know, especially you never want to see uh, Matt Corbath come up with the bases loaded. So he's a uh, one of the best hitters in the conference, and they got a great club. I mean, I can't say enough good things about that club. How much did y'all feed off the crowd today? You think? I meant to say that at the beginning, you know, the the crowd, the marketing team, the energy, the environment, like that looked like a regional atmosphere. And that's what we need. We need them pumping the, the, that music that they were playing every time. I mean, the, the people waving the balloons, the, the energy in the crowd. I mean, that it's a 10th man atmosphere. I mean, there were multiple innings where the pitchers seemed to struggle to find the strike zone. And I would attest that a lot to the noise that's being made, the sounds, the optics of what's going on, uh, you know, in the in the bowl seating area, from in the pitcher's vision. I mean, that this just that makes DKS a hostile place to play. So, huge shout out to the crowd and to the marketing team and just to the the environment and the energy that was created today. You know, in a one-run game, everything matters, and the crowd and the and the effort. Of our administration to make it a good environment, it was uh, it was really cool and really beneficial for us. Looked like Casey Talent left last night, favoring his shoulder. Is he gonna miss any time or anything? Yeah, so he he actually got it looked at and had it had it uh, tested, and we got great news. There's there's no tear, and 
nothing structurally wrong, just looked like a strain. Um, so he may be out um, for a few days, maybe even a week, but we expect him back for the postseason. Speaking of postseason, I think he clinched third seat overall in the ACC tournament. Would be second, except they got to give it to the Coastal winner. How, how proud are you of, of this team to the way that they have responded and, and to, to clinch that number three spot? You know, I, I don't even know if I can put it into perspective right now, but you know, I'll probably try to at some point. But just the the way these guys show up every day and the way they fight and the way they 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 sell out for their preparation and sit in this room and lock in and. Um, you know, as a new coaching staff, and transitions are never easy, but for these guys to be as hungry as they've been and be bought in, all in from the start, from August, um, you know, it's just, they're, just, they're just awesome to be around. Love being around them, love coaching them, um, and they're very deserving because they, they work their butts off, and, you know, they, they did not want their story to be something where Clemson was, you know, not, not, having success and they took it upon themselves to to do that and um, could have been very easy to you know to be resistant to some things that were maybe a little bit different but they were all in from the start and um, you know for them to see the results that they're seeing now especially after we didn't get the results because that's when you really question you know is this is this working and we didn't change lanes we didn't just all of a sudden stop doing this and start doing that and they stayed with it as well. So uh, yeah, all the credit goes to them because they stayed positive when it was really tough, when it, we were two and eight in the, in the league after that Friday night loss to Florida State, I think 16 and 14 overall. 